Hi everyone, welcome back to Juniper Unlimited's Beauty Bar. I'm Casey Marshall. You can find me on Instagram at Casey Couture. On today's video, we are going to do this fun holiday makeup look. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about my favorite Christmas traditions, old and new. So let's get ready together. So the first product that I am going to go in with is Ulta Beauty um, Youthful Glow Foundation. I use the shade Light to Medium Cool. I primed my face off camera. I usually use the Smashbox the photo finish. I'm almost out. I need to get another one. Um, but yeah, I accidentally got this foundation from a friend. Um, she had gotten the wrong shade and gave it to me. And then it ended up being one of my favorite foundations. I think it, it's more lightweight and I think it matches my skin tone really well and it blends well with my concealer. So I really like it. And I switch in between this one and the Fenty Beauty foundation. So I am coming up on my one year anniversary of moving to New York City. I moved on Christmas last year. I packed up and we drove through on Christmas Day. And then I moved into this apartment um, the day after Christmas. So coming up on my one year um, anniversary of living here which it has been the craziest year. 2020 has definitely been one for the books. I am super excited to start doing some of the Christmassy stuff around New York. Um, I went and I saw the Rockefeller like Christmas tree for the first time. And we went and looked at Saks and Bergdorf's and like saw their window displays which I have never got to do and always wanted to. I think New York City at Christmas time is just like such a fun and like pretty place to be. And even with COVID, with a lot of things being canceled, there's still the Christmas lights and the window displays that you can go and do outside, which was really fun. So I think it's gonna be one of my favorite new traditions. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. And hopefully next year, when things are calmed down a little bit, my family will be able to come and visit maybe during Christmas time and we'll get to do something like that. I am gonna go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Concealer. It is pretty good coverage and it blends well with my foundation. So I usually just put it underneath my eyes. I have dark circles and then if I have any blemishes to just cover those up as well. And I use my beauty sponge to blend it out. I think this one is a pretty affordable option and I really like the coverage that it gives me. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss. Um, I really like using liquid blush. I've been using it a lot more lately. I think this one has really good coverage and it is also a really cool company started by selena gomez but this packaging is super cool because it's made for people with disabilities um to be able to get it open easier with this little design so i don't know i think it's really cool i've been using it um a lot lately and i think it came as like a sample size but i'm definitely gonna need to go back and buy the full size product and then I just blend it out with my beauty sponge again. I used to use brushes a lot and I think brushes would work well with liquid blush. But if I want a more natural look and a little more subtle, I'll use my beauty blender because I, I feel like it gives it more of a, a subtle look. <laughs> Since this is a holiday look, I am gonna be using um, some fun colors, and I'm using the BH Trendy in Tokyo palette. It is a super fun rainbow palette. All these fun shades. I'm mainly going to be using the greens. And yeah, so I'm going to go in with the shade Bamboo first. 
it's this really deep green it has a little bit of a blue hue to it but yeah i've been much more experimental with colors recently and honestly it's because of this palette i've been i really like using greens i like using pinks and purples really just having fun with my makeup especially with like quarantine like we have much more time at home and just being able to experiment and you know if i don't like something it doesn't matter because i'm just at home i could wash it off and try something else so definitely been having fun experimenting and trying different looks so one of the traditions in my family that we aren't going to be able to do this year but hopefully we can bring it back next year is our family holiday party called Grinchmas, which will be really fitting with this look that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so all of my family, we get both sides of the family over at our house. Um, the next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Wasabi. It is that fun lime electric green. But yeah, we get both sides of the family over um, at our house and uh, sometimes we dress as who's and we usually play games uh, we do a gift exchange and then my mom literally goes all out with this like even our Christmas tree is Grinch themed and we have all of our food is like named after like the Grinch feast that they have on the show so we have who hash, roast beast, um, Grinch punch. It's just like super fun. We're really into themes in our family, if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I'm like a little bit bummed that we won't be able to do it this year, but it'll be exciting to bring it back next year with everybody and get to see everyone. I hopefully will get to at least connect on Zoom. Sorry that my mirror is so dirty, but um hopefully we'll get to connect on zoom and still get to see each other just not in person this year so next i'm going to take the shade bamboo and line it underneath my eye it's looking a little crazy right now but i promise we'll come together so i did have a little bit of fallout um on this side i don't know if you can see it on camera but you can definitely see it in the mirror and if this ever happens to you if you just take a big fluffy brush and just kind of brush away the fallout um, instead of like rubbing it with a makeup wipe or even your fingers which can just spread it and make it worse if you just take the big fluffy brush and brush it away it makes it so much easier so for the next step on this i am going to take the ColourPop concealer and i am going to use uh, this brush here and use it to do a cut crease because I am gonna do gold sparkles, of course. Matches the dress. I'm gonna go in and just make the shape that I want the cut crease to be with the concealer. Kind of just cleans up anything that I have might have missed and it's just gonna make the cut crease look a lot cleaner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm taking in with the ColourPop concealer and just kind of creating the shape that I want my cut crease to be it's just gonna make everything much more crisp and clean and it takes care of any fallout that I might have gotten on my lid I usually use this like eyeliner kind of brush um, because it just makes it easier for me it does take a little bit longer but it makes it easier to be more precise which I definitely need for this look also i'm like really zoomed in on my face right now and i have not gotten my eyebrows done because of covid so my eyebrows are crazy right now and i'm very happy the camera is far away so you can't tell but they definitely could use some threading so i've got the concealer on it cleaned up the look and now i'm going to go in with the next shade so i am going to use this definitely well-loved pretty rich palette it is honestly one of my favorite palettes um i bought it on a whim at ulta and 
what I really like about it, like, can you see this? It is so fun, especially for holiday looks and everything in between. But the these are like kind of gel. I think they have, you know how like normally when you do glitter, you usually have to put something down beforehand. These stick really well and it's very clean whenever you do it. Um, so I really like these. I feel like I'm really messy whenever I do glitters and this has made my life so much easier. The shades are really fun. There's that silverly, it's silver and gold mix. They use this one the most, as you can tell. Um, it's got this fun pink. It's called um, Diamond Glitterati. Um, I've got Fluent and Diamonds. It's really beautiful gold. And then this one is kind of like a multicolor. I'm going to see if I can swatch it for you. It's almost like iridescent. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. I didn't do it thick enough. There we go. But it is super fun, iridescent. Um, I usually use, here's the gold so you can see. The gold is super fun. Um, the pink. I went in twice with the, the pink because it wasn't, I feel like I've been using them so much that they're a little bit dried now, but like look how pigmented that is. It's just pure glitter and they stay really well, like it's not as messy, which is what I like about these. I'm almost out of this silvery one. I'm going to need to go and get this palette again because I'm obsessed and I use it way too much. But yeah, let me see if I can swatch the the other one so you can compare it. The other one's a little more, I don't know, I haven't really used the other one that much. I just like don't like it as much. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels like it's made differently than the other ones. I think you can see it a little bit better. It's just like iridescent, but I don't know. The golds are what I, what made me buy this palette. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Fluent and Diamond. That is the darker gold right here. I think it'll look good since my dress is darker gold. Let's go with that one. I don't use that one that often since it is really, really glittery. So I usually use my finger whenever I do the glitter. Um, I think the, the brush kind of just gets messy and I feel like I can be more precise whenever I use my finger. Um, yeah, I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. It definitely is a very Grinch look that I have going. I haven't really watched too many Christmas movies yet. I watched The Happiest Holiday with Kristen Stewart. It was super good. I was surprised. I really love that movie. I'm not the biggest fan of Kristen Stewart, but I liked it. I definitely... I don't know. I'm just like not the biggest Christmas movie person. The Grinch would definitely be my favorite one. But I haven't watched it yet this season. I'm probably going to wait until I'm home so I can watch it with my niece and nephew. And I we usually watch the old one, the live action um, one with Jim Carrey. But I think the little ones will probably like the new cartoon one too. And the new cartoon one has a really fun soundtrack. I think Tyler, the creator, did it. So we'll definitely be listening to some of that as well. We like to have dance parties. My niece and nephew are three and one. So I'm excited to be home at least to be able to see them. I know I won't get to see everyone this year because of the COVID restrictions but i'm excited to at least get to see my brother and my parents and my niece and nephew i usually like to blend the glitter out just a little bit with my finger so it doesn't look stuck in one place because this really does a good job of staying where you put it okay so i just filmed my um eyeliner or put on my eyeliner and i realized that my sound wasn't on so sorry about that, but I did use the Rare Beauty 
Um, I think it's their new eyeliner. It is the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. It's in black. It's very dark. Um, so I really like it. The trick to doing winged eyeliner, I definitely struggled um, to learn how to do it. And I don't even think I did it in the last video because I was a little bit nervous. Um, I don't know. I just like, I think it's kind of hard to do. But um, the trick that I've learned is to start with your bottom um, on your lash line and to figure out the shaping of like where your point should go. I usually take my eyeliner and I point it towards my um, the end of my eyebrow and that would be the shape of your wing. So I point it up towards the end and then I usually go in and I will, I'm just pretending because obviously I already did it, but um, I go in from the waterline and I will go to the point and then I go on the outside and also go towards the point of your eyebrow and then you can fill it in. Um, I think it makes it a lot easier and then also helps you not make as many mistakes. Um, if you do make a mistake, no big deal. Use a little bit of makeup remover or makeup remover wipe and wipe off the spot and try again. But you can also use concealer if it's just like a little bit of a smudge um, and use the concealer to cover it up. But this eyeliner I like. It stays on all day. You don't have to worry about that, but it is a little hard to get off. So the next that I am going to do is my uh, mascara. And I usually use, um, I actually switch between three different mascaras. This one is Benefit, um, it's Bad Gal Bang. But I also use Benefit's um, Roller Lash. And then my drugstore like go-to, I've used this since high school, still think it's one of the best eye or mascaras is the Maybelline The Colossal Waterproof Mascara. Love it, use it all the time. Um, but I already curled my eyelashes off camera, but I'm gonna go in with this mascara. Um, I think it's kind of hard because my lashes are blonde. So I start at the base and kind of shake and then pull up to do mine. And sometimes it takes a few codes just because they are so blonde. And then I go and I'm gonna do the underneath. And I'm gonna do the other side next. And do the little shimmy. To make sure you get the base of your eyelashes. And then the bottom lash line. I haven't been using um, eyeliner on my bottom lash line, but you can. I use i think i use this cover girl um one for my bottom ones but i also have been experimenting apparently white um eyeshadow can make or eyeliner can make your bottom or it makes your eyes look bigger um so i've been trying it i don't know if i really believe it but it's kind of fun to experiment so i don't know all right the next thing that i'm gonna do is my eyebrows they are a little bit crazy because of um, not getting them done, but I have the Benefit Brow Kit and I'm gonna go in with Goof Proof Pencil. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it does come with three pencil or three products in the kit that I get. One is more precise. This is the thicker one. I usually use the, um, the thin one to kind of get that point perfect. But because uh, my brows haven't been done in a while, I don't think we really need that because they're not gonna look precise. They're a little bushy and crazy, which is fine. Okay, and then to really get them to stay put where they are, I usually use, it's the Gimme Brow. Um, I usually use the shade, sorry, this is shade three. This is 3.5. Go in and just brush it through your brows. Really helps everything stay in, in place. And also, before you start, if your brows are needing 
I usually use like a brush and kind of just like brush them into place as well. I forgot to do my highlight earlier. Um, so I'm going to do the Becca Opal. This has been one of my favorite highlighters. And I use a kind of a fluffier brush whenever I'm going for a more natural look. But I usually just apply to my cheeks. Um, I know some people will put it on their nose or on... Ooh, look how fun that is. Definitely see it in this light. Um, but some people do it on the tips of their nose in the inner corners, on the eyebrows. I think for today's look, I might do a little bit on the inner corners, but I'm gonna avoid the eyebrow area because like I said, they're a little bushy, a little crazy. I don't really wanna pull any more attention towards them. But yeah, let me do, I probably gonna use a smaller brush for the corner of my eyes just cause I don't want it to be a huge spot. I'm gonna use this. And just put it in the corner, really pack it on. And last but not least, we need to pick out some lipstick. And I have been using, or I got the Rare Beauty pack. It's super cute, especially if you just wanna try the product, which is what I wanted. Um, it is the Dewy Lip Balm in the shade thankful i really like it um it's moisturizing makes your lips feel really soft it's kind of a more natural look i've been using mostly just liquid lipsticks i use kylie lip kits i've used them since they came out and i just really like the fact that they just like stay on and it's like a one application but what i really like about this is it makes your lips one really soft but it's also moisturizing which will be good in the winter time i know that people aren't really wearing too much lipsticks because of the mask situation but i don't know i really like it because of it is lip balm and it does make your lips feel really good they also have liquid lipsticks i haven't tried any of those but i want to and i got these in the like sample sizes just to try them but i think i Honestly, I'll probably get both of these, the big, like the full size products because I really like them. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my holiday makeup tutorial and listening to my Christmas traditions, old and new. I know this year is gonna look a little bit differently, but I hope you have a happy holiday season, everyone. And if you could follow me on Instagram, it is at Casey, K-A-Y-C-E-E, -E, Couture. Thanks guys, happy holidays.